Hey guys, it's Nathan. Today we'll be learning the different types of drum rolls and a few methods to get better at them. When most people think about drumming, drum rolls are the very first thing that comes to mind. Like I've had people come up to me and just go, just because they know that I'm a drummer. Rolls are the very beginning in your journey into the fundamentals of drumming. These three rolls that we will be learning are going to introduce you into the world of drumming and start you on your journey to becoming a great drummer. First is the single stroke roll. Like its name says, it is a roll produced by alternately playing single notes on each hand over and over again. This being the simplest roll, it is easy to understand but is truly hard to master. To play this effectively, you should separate the hands first and then put them together once you've got a hang of it. When you're practicing each hand, you should make sure that you're getting a nice bounce out of your wrist. Playing, just playing notes over and over again repetitively and making sure that they're really smooth and relaxed. Once you've got both hands, you can try them together just to make sure that they're both doing the same thing. Once you've got that figured out, you can then start alternating them and making sure that you're producing a smooth and even sound. A multiple bounce roll, also known as a buzz roll, is also very descriptive in its name. For each stroke, you allow the stick to hit multiple bounces at once, which allows a sound like a buzz to happen. The trick to a buzz roll is to nail down each hand playing a buzz before you try and put them together. A great way to practice buzzing is to realize how the rebound of the drum affects the stick. You can practice this by just allowing the stick to drop from your hand. Don't, don't, don't fully drop it, just hold it like this and allow it to drop and see how many times you can get the stick to hit the drum. That's called the rebound. A buzz is basically just you using the rebound and your fulcrum and pushing into the head to make that buzz sound. Once you can do this on each hand separately, it's just a matter of alternating them and putting it together to make a continuous blend of sound that sounds like a buzz. The last roll is a double stroke roll. For this roll, every time each hand hits the drum, you play two notes, which is called a diddle. The hard part about diddles is getting each note to sound the same. The tendency is for the first note to be louder than the second note, which leads to an uneven sounding roll. The way you can achieve quality diddles is by playing an exercise like double beat, which forces you to make each note sound the same. Once you have achieved quality diddles in each hand, you can put them together to produce an even sounding roll. In the description, I have provided a practice sheet to practice all three of these rules. It will help you to visualize what it means to separate each hand and then put them together for the final product. If you need some help with learning how to read rhythms, then check out our other videos on Rhythm Basics. But that's gonna be all for today, guys. I hope this video helped you clarify what each type of role is and gave you a deep understanding of the techniques that we used and how we got to the end product. Thanks for watching guys, I'll see you next time.